Hey friends, in this YouTube video, we are gonna learn how to paint roses. So let's get into video right now. So currently I will be using A3 size watercolor paper and I will start with wetting the paper. For wetting the paper, I am gonna use a really big wash brush and it is from Silver Black Velvet series and it's a wash brush which is two inch wide, which is very handy for me to wet the paper. I don't have to dip it again and again or I don't have to be like make a lot of strokes. So having a big brush, little handy for me. So I'm gonna start with wetting the paper. And the paper is 100% cotton as always. And now I'm gonna use the other two brushes that I will be using are this one. This one is three by four inch Silver Silk Series 88 angle and the same brush in one and a half inch. So I will be picking up some color the color that i will be using are from windsor and newton i guess the right now the color that i will be using is permanent rose so i will start with painting the flower the picture that i clicked or referencing is the one which i clicked on my own my mom is a little bit into the gardening or the, let's say she's a little bit into the flowers um so we had these roses sometime uh, like this picture was one and a half year back and I clicked this picture back then so yeah roses are from our garden only so now I'll take the smaller brush I'll just prepare it and then I'll start painting the strokes And then other stroke, I am for sure referencing to the reference picture, which I cannot include in the frame right now because the paper that I'm using right now is a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna now start with another uh, petal over here. I absolutely love Windsor and Newton color. The way the color is performing on the paper is absolutely amazing. Um, it's kind of very controlled. few more strokes over here and the center part is will be a little bit comparatively more darker as compared to the outer side first of all the petals which are in the center are always more kind of reddish or darker in tone as compared to the petals which are present in the outer side of the flower so i am gonna take really good care of that thing and also the petals in the center are kind of a little bit more close just considering the flowers which i am painting right now it's not always in the case of each and every flower and also it's not always always necessary to paint exactly what's happening in the reference picture you can always explore your creativity and if you are thinking that so there is this one narrative in a mind when you are considering the watercolors that wet and wet technique is really hard but actually the thing is wet and wet technique is a very forgiving technique uh, that's with the experience because you can always fix the edges in the second layer or the third layer so wet and wet when i am doing wet and wet right now so basically right now i am giving myself an idea where the petals will fall you can see the color is bleeding and the second layer which i will be doing after this will determine the actual rose so it's kind of a little bit more forgiving comparatively if we are considering this case So I will be painting this over here. Taking a little bit of more color and also I am teaching to 
paint these kind of roses in my course which is decoding roses the beginner's guide from which we are learning how to read the structure or how to paint these kind of flowers from scratch and it is one of the most successful course that i have launched because even the beginners were able to crack the technique that i was teaching and they were also able to paint something more advanced which i didn't even included in the course basically the instructions of that course is mind-blowing and amazing so yeah it's an amazing course in which i am teaching how to paint these kind of roses so now first we are done with the base layer of this flower and now i'm gonna move to the second flower which is present almost at the left side bottom left side of this first flower so i'll do this few petals in the center so you can see I absolutely love the flower which I painted in the second run though I love this flower more as compared to this flower so now there is one bud which is present over here the placement of flowers is also one of the most biggest thing so i always teach my students in the courses that uh, it's not about the skill set it's more about what's going inside your mind while you're landing your brush on the piece of paper so there should be all the things should be going inside your mind so right now i will be placing this bud over here which is present kind of over here so the direction is a little bit upwards and in this we won't be preferring the negative painting so this is the word also i need to use some more color i will be now using a little bit of powder pink because it will kind of tone down the red color that i will be using and also it will provide a sheer good amount of granulation which is kind of running in the this part of the flower plus i will on not only end this flower with the powder pink i will also go back add a little bit of green which is kind of bleeding into the flower and i will be leaving it just right over here and i will be coming back to this afterwards and now there is one flower which is kind of present almost over here and i will be fitting there are a lot of flowers which are present on the upper belt but not at the lower so i will be just shifting and changing the position of the flowers
there is one flower which is kind of present over here but i will be shifting its position at the bottom to make the composition a little bit more fuller comparatively So now I'm done with the first layer of all the flowers. Now I will be moving on to the second layer which I will be painting. Which basically kind of includes me detailing small teeny tiny parts of the flower. So you can see I'm not using a lot of brushes for painting roses. I'm just using one main, mainly this one specific brush for painting and this one is just for the base layer. So you can also use a round brush for the base layer. It's completely up to your comfort. And the second flower which is over here, I will be detailing it now. I'm not thinking a lot while putting the stroke on the paper. Just considering few more things which just help me to guide while I'm painting. So in the reference picture, I can see there are not a lot of leaves present. So, but I really want to add few of the leaves. So I will be moving and adding few leaves on in this composition. I'm just starting with wetting the paper, the kind of same process, but in the leaf, it's a little bit less detailed because of course it is just one single body of petal or stroke. So I'm gonna use sap green same brand windsor and newton and then i'm also gonna shift to a bigger brush because that's that's kind of more convenient comparatively so
Now I'll tilt the paper a little bit. So guys, we are done with the composition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so you can be notified whenever I am going live or posting a new video.